Hi, I'm Douglas Rennie, Master Cooper at Cigar Maroon, Napa, California. I'm going to show you how we pressure check barrels to check for any leaks that we may find in the wood. We have two gallons of 140 degree water inside the barrel. I'm now going to apply an, a test bung. It has a one-way valve on the inside. It opens and allows the air pressure to go in and then it closes when we take out the air pressure. So the air and water trapped inside the barrel and the air should force the water through any weak spots that there may be in the barrel. And if we find any leaks, I'll show you the proper way that they should be fixed. Firstly, I'm going to check the heads and around the ends of the staves, see if we can find any leaks. If not, I'll check the body of the barrel. And we have a leak. So I'll show you the proper way to fix this one. Now I'm going to scrape away the water that's leaking here and that will allow me to see the exact point that the water is being forced through the wood. So I'm going to use the pick here and the hammer. With the pick I'm going to punch a hole where the water is coming through. I'm going to take the pick out and fill the hole that I've made with the spiral here. It's almost like a wooden golf tee. Now I'm going to insert it in the hole that we made. And the sound of the barrel tells me that the, the spile is all the way in. I'm now going to trim off the spile. One side, then the other. Once it's off, we're going to use some sandpaper to smooth it over. And anywhere you scrape wood, you open the pores. So we always use some sandpaper to close the pores back up on the end of the stave here. After sandpapering the wood to make it all nice and smooth, I'm going to look and check the rest of the barrel because now the pressure is wanting to find another weak spot. If there's another weak spot in the barrel, we'll show you how to fix that too. And you can see on the the other head of the barrel, we have a grain leak on the head. So this is a completely different fix from what we just done on the other side. So now I'm going to scrape the wood here. When I scrape the wood, you can see this direction is smooth. So that means I'm going with the grain. The opposite direction is rough. So I'm going against the grain. So I know to fix this particular type of leak, I have to go with the direction of the grain. So I'm going to go just half an inch above the, the leak. So I'm going to use a small chisel here. So here I'm going maybe half an inch. So now I'm going to take out the chisel and I'll check that my wooden wedge is slightly wider than the chisel. If it's the same width as the chisel, it would leak either side. So always slightly wider so that we have to force it into the, the hole that we've made. Always across the grain, never lengthways with the grain or you would split the grain all the way up the, this headpiece. So now I'm going to hammer the piece in here. Now I'm going to trim off the excess wood with the chisel here. We cut from both sides so that I've left the middle part of the wedge in there. And now I'll tidy it and trim off the excess wood here. With the scraper, I'll scrape it. And as always, anywhere you scrape wood, you open the pores. So now we'll close the pores. I'll now give the barrel one final check. Make sure there's no more leaks before we release the air pressure and drain the water. So no leaks on the head or the chime here. 
will now check the, the body of the barrel, make sure there's no leaks on any of the staves here. I see no further leaks in the barrel, so now I'm going to release the, the bung and the four pounds pressure per square inch, and then we'll drain the water from it, and the barrel will be ready to go straight out to a winery once it's sanded.